Hey, welcome. Recently, I got an annual pass to Gibbs Gardens, and uh, it's a really special place in North Georgia. I'm going to give you a quick lesson in one point perspective. What I'm going to do is show you how we can lay out a grid in one point perspective to make this make sense. Now, I've been doing this for so long that I just look at these ovals and I reproduce them. But I can't emphasize enough laying a foundation for your drawings. Um, you need to collect as much information as you can uh, in order to interpret the world around you and perspective is essential to understanding and really easy so I'm gonna just do a quick drawing and then we're gonna come back and I'll finish it at a, a later date the actual the actual drawing but let me tell you where I'm coming from here Okay, one point perspective. The horizon line in this case is off the page. You can't see a horizon line, but it's up there, out there somewhere. Now, we're going to just fake it. Okay, so say I was to make a circle in that square, okay? Okay, so there's an oval, but if I was to do a circle in this one over here, since it's further away, my oval is going to be flatter. See that? And here, it'll be slightly less flat. Okay? If I do one out here, it's going to be super flat. Okay? So the further away they get, the smaller and flatter they are. Now, in this picture, you'll see some are little, some are large. Uh, I am going to look at these and, and lay them in, but I want you to understand the underlying principles very loosely of perspective, okay? So, you know, if this was right here, going off the page, you know. Now see, with just those few that I have here, doesn't it look like they're going off into perspective? See how important that is? If you get that part right, everything else will work out.
So that concludes our graphite rendering of the water lilies. It can be used as a study to do a watercolor or an oil painting or acrylic painting. It's always good to do a sketch of something first, uh, get familiar with the composition, see if you're happy with that, with the values. In graphite, it's like using it as a value study. Um, also, I, I cannot stress enough the value of learning to draw before you learn to paint. Thanks so much for joining me for this lesson. I hope you really got something out of it. You could help me to continue to give you free content by clicking that like button below and hitting the subscribe button so Arts Express will be easy to find in your subscription list. Also comment. I'd love to start a conversation. Have a great day. Bye.